Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. 8th to the 14th of March 2021. Okay, so I have... Page of Cups. Message for Aries, thank you. Message for our lovely Aries, thank you. For the week. What do we have for Aries? Thank you for the week. Oh, positivity. I mean, the Page of Cups is positive energy. Okay. Message for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. Hmm, we have forgiveness. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Aries, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, as we always do, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Aries, please, Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aries, what does Aries need to hear the most for the week? What does Aries need to hear the most for the week? What does Aries need to hear the most for the week? Thank you. What does Aries need to hear the most for the week? Too many. Wow. So much energy in you. Oh, I've got a page of cups again. <laughs> in your challenge position this time. Nine of Swords. Four of Swords, okay. Okay, message for Aries, please. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Aries? Thank you. Let's clarify the cards on the table for Aries, please. Starting with this Page of Cups. Thank you. Wow, Aries, Eight of Swords. The Hierophant clarifies the Nine of Swords. And the Four of Swords, we have the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hanging Man. Hmm. So Aries, I have to tell you, someone's sorry. This is either you or somebody is sorry. Um, you're sorry to somebody or they're sorry to you. It feels like they're coming to you saying they're sorry. Page of Cups, message of love. I mean, a loving message. You know, it, it definitely feels for some of you, something's happened here. And with this forgiveness coming out, the message from Spirit is positivity is available to you. I mean, someone might be hoping that you're going to respond in a positive way as well. Uh, there's a kind of hope in this reading. But I definitely get this energy of um, someone sorry. It just feels very, very sorry. Page of Cups is coming out twice. Uh, so it's, it's a predominant energy because it's a challenge. Because in a way, I mean, the, the Eight of Swords is, with the, the Page of Cups, is somebody offering you some kind of apology or someone saying they're sorry. It might be with some kind of gift as well. There may well be gifts involved here. 
but it's a question of whether you want to see it or not. I mean, the Eight of Swords generally is uh, sometimes about not wanting to see the truth or negative thinking towards what this is representing. It can, the, it feels like some kind of block energy. It might well be somebody who you've blocked. I mean, you might have blocked them on, you know, technology. So the phone it could be social media. I mean, you know, it's kind of what I'm picking up here. It feels like you might have blocked them or you might not be speaking to them right now. This is Gemini energy. But it feels in this situation that somebody feels sorry. So for what it's worth, it feels that they, they're genuinely sorry. They've caused a lot of stress and anxiety though. Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety, worry, upset. Somebody has caused a lot of that. Um, but this is an energy of something that seems to be controlling your mind a lot Aries I mean the nine of swords is when we lose the reason of a situation you know when our mind can focus so much on the negative that we don't get perspective you know there's a reason for you to feel that way I mean it's based on fact that's for sure but certainly with that the nine of swords it can be when we we need to get perspective we need to respond in a, in a from a point of perspective to see the way forward you know it's that kind of energy because this is when our mind can just you see all the disarray of those swords it's when our mind can just make everything look so chaotic and bigger than it is if you're not careful it can magnify tenfold there's a kind of illusion quality with the, with the Nine of Swords. So Spirit is just saying, be careful of how you're perceiving something here. You have a reason. Spirit is definitely saying you have a reason to be upset. But don't lose that perspective. Because it feels in this situation you have an opportunity to, to, to take control of something that is preying on your mind. Swords is mental energy, how we perceive something you know, perceptions, thought patterns, and so on. And I definitely get this energy that something is preying on your mind or someone, and you, they might have, it feels like they've caused a lot of upset. I mean, this could be a friendship, this could be in terms of love. The Hierophant can be a traditional institution, so it can be marriage committed relationships, family dynamics. Um, But the Hierophant is, is also a card of, of searching for meaning and the opportunity for spiritual growth and wisdom. So, you know, finding strength in, for those of you who are spiritual, by trusting, you know, that spirit is guiding you in the right direction. It's also a card of stability and security with that Taurus energy. There's an energy here of ground yourself as well. Uh, this kind of earth energy that I'm feeling, grounding yourself. Uh, needing to ground yourself because it's almost like the mind can run wild. And it's almost like, you know, there's a need to get perspective here. Yeah. It feels like, you know, you have gone through a period of recovery here. And you are seeing the way forward. I mean, it might well be for some of you, you're making your mind upon a situation in how you want to move forward with regard to somebody offering you some kind of apology. Um, I'm just going to pull one for the Hierophant. Hmm, lovers. Yeah, so it feels like a relationship. It feels to do with, yeah, it's a relationship then. And this is a card of Gemini, which it, it, it might well be that some of you find the answers that you seek by communication, by talking things out, by seeing if you can restore harmony to a situation. But it definitely feels for some of you, someone is sorry and they're asking for your forgiveness. 
and they they want to mend the bond. Wow, you're going to make your mind up. Um, but that hanging man is it's a it's an energy of giving your spell, yourself space and time for things to become clear here. So if you need a period of time, Aries, give yourself a period of time in order to make the right decision for you or see the way forward um, on this period of recovery. Um, it can also be about... Yeah. It can be a card of... of, of Surrender and letting it go as well. Um, yeah, it can, it can be, you know, let's just let it go. Also, the hanged man also hangs upside down to gain illumination. So there is something about looking at something in a different way. Maybe if you keep on looking at something the same way, you'll just keep on getting the same feedback, certainly from your internal energy. So maybe there is something to do with looking at something in a different way around in order to get the rounded perspective. Yeah, and again, there's deep thought in this energy, deep thought reflection, looking at something in a different way. But there can be an energy here of letting it go. Because the Three of Cups can be a card of union, reunion even. Um, it feels like it's a coming together energy. Uh, it's a card of celebration, joy, happiness, communication. Again, this communication energy. Communication flowing and bringing some kind of celebration or union. It feels for some of you that you have the you're giving some deep thought on whether you want to to reunify is that a word <laughs> to um, to get back on track in terms of some kind of union to bring closure to a situation and just move on from it and it feels for some of you that's what you're giving some deep thought to. Yeah, it's a powerful situation, but I, I kind of feel for some of you, Aries. I mean, the, the lover's card can be a choice card as well. So for some of you, it feels in this situation, you're giving some deep reflection, some deep thought in how you want to move forward because it feels that somebody hurt you deeply. I'm definitely getting that energy. There was a lot of negative energy here. Um, sword energy, and it's the recovery energy, the fact that you are recovering from it. But, you know, eight and nine of swords isn't the easiest energy to get your head around, you know? They really got underneath your skin here. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Lost and found. That's appropriate, isn't it? Uh, yeah. We have what was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realize were lost. Yeah, Aries, it definitely feels it's to do with the relationship here. This lover's energy, someone's sorry. And it feels like for what it's worth, like I said, it feels like they're very sorry. And there is some kind of decision and it, it feels like they might be waiting. Actually, they might be waiting for you to make your mind up in whether you come together or not, you know, on whether you can get past this. So, you know, it, it, it feels for some of you that you're giving some deep thought and they're just waiting for you to, they're waiting to see what's going to happen here. Powerful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.